going on? It's your girl Keisha. Welcome to my show on the Nile Bokiza. All right, so I have a story to share with you guys. I got a story for you guys. I always got a story for you, all right? So this story is about a Harlem woman. Her name is Nisa Walcott, just 35 years old. She was murdered. Guess who killed her? Guess who took her life? Guess who snuffed her life? Her own blood cousin, Kali Barrow, just 21 years old. So the cops picked his funky behind up on Saturday and interrogated his funky behind because they saw he was the last person with her. So they saw him on surveillance camera going in her apartment building and he left, but she didn't. And then he, I'm assuming he came back and had a container and was removing the container with her body inside because her body was found in a plastic storage container. So he stuffed her in the container like she was trash, like she was nothing to him, all right? So her family is very devastated. They're hurt and they're just distraught. They don't know why this happened, but they're saying she was a lovely woman. She was a doting mother to her 14-year-old son and they were very close. They were like this, all right? And now the son has to stay with the father because he's just, just trying to take in the, the horrible news of his mother being killed by her own family member. Blood is thicker than water. They right? were saying that when he was texting his sister, the responses from her phone were very suspicious. And there was like, and then he was like, wait a minute, something is not right here. Something is wrong. Because she wouldn't respond like that, okay? And that's when they called the police and, and that's when everything went from there. And he said that she tried to help this person. She tried, I guess she tried to help the cousin, try to look out for him, try to be there for him. And look what look what he did. You try to help people and then they kill you. So, it you know, it's really, really sad. We don't know much details as to why he did it, what made, what demon jumped into his body and possessed him to go kill his, kill his own cousin. Satan is very, very busy. And if you don't get your mind, your spirit, and yourself together, he could get your behind too, all right? We got to get it together, you guys. It's, it's, this world is getting crazy and crazier every single day. You see what's going on in Russia, okay? is getting crazy every single day so he left her body in a container in the bronx across the street from 950 university avenue and that's when someone was walking by and saw the container with her body inside and they called the police all right you know it's that's not a story that you want to hear no one wants to hear about their mother being killed or their sibling or their their relative being killed and killed in that manner and discarded the way that she was that's just terrible this guy had no heart and he was just heartless and just seemed soulless what the brother was saying to even even do something like even to handle her body the way he did i guess i'll come back with you guys for another update maybe i may add it to my comment section but we got to be very careful out here keep your eyes open all right keep your ears open watch your surroundings watch who's around you okay keep your eyes on people okay and don't be so trusting, all right? I'm sure she never would have expected her own cousin, her own blood, her own relatives, her own family member would come in her apartment and kill her. She thought that he was going to come into her apartment, just vibe or just talk or whatever the case may be. But I'm sure she had no idea this man was going to kill her because if she knew that, I'm sure she would not have let him in her apartment. I don't think anyone would have let anyone in their apartment if they knew or had a great feeling that that person was going to be seeking their life unless you wanted to die okay but i'm i'm sure that's not what she thought be very safe and careful out here and just keep your eyes and ears open it's a wild wild west out here <laughs>